uh, welcome. I will present the result of a piece of research that I carried out with uh, Liu Zheng and Roberto Meli. Uh, specifically, I will present the results of an empirical study aiming at evaluating if extremely simplified measures of the functional size of software can be used to estimate development effort. Uh, functional size measures of software are uh, the input required by many effort estimation methods. Uh, therefore, they are widely used. Now, performing the standard measurement requires that the standard measurement process defined by the International Function Point User Group uh, is followed. Uh, performing this standard process involves uh, uh, quite often uh, some uh, time and cost, uh, which in uh, given conditions may be considered excessive by uh, project managers. Uh, also, functional measures could be needed before functional requirements have been elicited completely at, at the detail require, required. Uh, that is, uh, in conditions that prevent the application of the standard process. Uh, several simplified processes have been proposed to get estimates of function points uh, in, or, in a shorter time and at a fraction of the cost required by the standard process. Uh, however, instead of, estimated of estimating function points, here we explore the possibility of using a different simple measure uh, to support effort estimation. The proposed measure is so simple that a quick and cheap measurement is guaranteed. Uh, however, before adopting such measures, such, such measure, uh, we need to know uh, if it supports effort estimation with a level of accuracy that is not substantially worse with respect to estimates based on standard function points. Uh, to this end, we performed an empirical study that I will illustrate uh, now. Uh, uh, before proceeding with the presentation, uh, let us have a look at the definition of function points. Uh, the diagram uh, in this slide uh, shows the elements that have to be identified and counted to get the standard IFPOG function point measure. Uh, I will not go into details now. Uh, those who do not know function points can find some details in the paper, uh, which also contains a reference to the uh, standard uh, IFPOG process manual. Uh, here we can see the subset of the software specifications that we consider to get a simple measure of the functional size. In practice, we propose to simply count the transactions. In other words, we want to verify if most details considered to get the standard measure can be ignored without compromising effort estimation. Uh, we can note that some simplified measurement processes already propose to consider only the number of logical data files and the number of transactions. We are going a step beyond by ignoring data and accounting only for the functionality presented to end users. Uh, to test our hypothesis, uh, we performed an empirical study based on the data provided by the ISBESG, uh, which is the International Software Benchmarking Standards Group. Uh, the study consisted in deriving a statistical model of effort based on standard function point and a similar model based on the number of transactions. Then we compared the estimation accuracy provided by the two models. Uh, since effort estimation is the main reason why function points are used, uh, we assume that uh, if the number of transactions work fine for effort estimation, then it can be considered as a candidate to replace uh, function points. Uh, uh, we used a version of the dataset provided by the ISBESG released in uh, 2015 uh, because afterwards uh, they stopped collecting fine-grained data, including the number of transactions. Um, of this data, we selected only the highest quality data, um, as is commonly done when using uh, ISBES data. Uh, so, as already mentioned, we looked for models that estimate effort based on size, uh, measured using the standard definition of function points or via transactions. 
Uh, the ISBEST dataset contains data that concern new development projects and enhancement projects. Uh, since these types of projects are known to have different characteristics, uh, we derived uh, different models for new development projects and enhancement projects. Uh, in addition, we considered a specific subset of enhancement, uh, that is, those uh, enhancements that do not involve changing or deleting any existing functionality. Uh, in, practice, in, in practice, these are uh, actually extensions. Uh, we built uh, the F4 models uh, using uh, ordinary least squares uh, regression after log-log transformation, as was done by many authors, uh, including, for instance, Barry Bean with Kokomo. Uh, we found uh, statistically significant models for new development projects and uh, extension projects, but not for enhancement projects. Uh, the models we found uh, are those described uh, here. Uh, and uh, we then proceeded to evaluate uh, this model's accuracy. Uh, to this end, we performed 10 times 10 fold uh, cross validation. Uh, these box plots uh, represent the distributions of effort estimation errors for models based on standard size measures and the models based on the number of transactions when applied to, the, to uh, new development projects. Uh, on the left-hand side, uh, we have the complete distributions, while on the right-hand side, uh, outliers are excluded. Uh, it can be seen that the distributions are very similar. Uh, here we have the distribution of absolute errors. Uh, the orange diamonds represent the mean absolute errors. Uh, in the picture on the right-hand side, uh, the horizontal lines give the mean errors of baseline models, uh, and uh, it is easy to see that our models perform better than the reference models. And as in the previous slide, uh, the distributions are very similar. Um, here we have uh, uh, the error distributions concerning extension projects. Uh, also in this case, uh, it seems that uh, using the number of transactions to estimate effort does, uh, uh, does uh, uh, not cause uh, very different errors with respect to using uh, standard uh, measures. Uh, here, uh, finally, uh, we have the distributions of absolute errors, and also in this case, uh, distributions uh, as well as the uh, mean values uh, appear very similar uh, to each other. Uh, when looking at the mean absolute errors, we find that for new development uh, using the standard uh, if book size, we get a slightly smaller error. Uh, specifically, uh, using the number of transactions, uh, uh, we get a, a mean absolute error that is uh, uh, less than 2% higher. Uh, concerning extensions, uh, the model based on the number of transactions is marginally better. Uh, both models are definitely better than models that use no functional size measure. Uh, even though the box plots uh, give a quite convincing evidence that the two considered types of models provide similar performances, we proceeded to compute the effect size using uh, a few different statistical tests. All of them confirmed that the effect size is close to nil. Uh, in conclusion, the results uh, of the study suggest that, in general, it may not be necessary to go through a relatively long and expensive process uh, to get the standard uh, IFBUG measures. On the contrary, uh, simply counting the number of transactions, defined uh, as in the IFBUG counting manual, uh, supports effort estimation without appreciable loss of accuracy. Uh, so, practitioners that have uh, suitable historical data can try the proposed models and verify in practice our hypothesis that, that the number of transactions is a good predictor of effort.
uh, we must observe that uh, we tested only models of effort that use size as the unique independent variable. Uh, since uh, it is uh, uh, well known that effort depends also on several other factors, uh, additional research is necessary to evaluate the performance of effort models based on the number of transactions in combination with these other factors. Uh, so in the future we uh, shall try to uh, generalize our results by looking for data containing measures of effort of uh, measures of factors that together with size uh, affect the development or maintenance effort and building and evaluating if the number of transactions is a good predictor, predictor of effort also in combination with such uh, factors. And uh, that's all and thank you for your attention.